the truth. After ominous messages and outright threats from the volatile North Korean leader about pulling out of a summit with President Trump, the president late today offered a possible carrot to Kim Jong-un. He'll get protections that will be very strong. Analysts say this could be the kind of security that the North Korean leader values most. I think it could mean that um, the United States is willing to offer a guarantee to North Korea that it will not engage in regime change. In recent days, the North Koreans said if they were forced into a corner to unilaterally abandon their nuclear weapons, then they wouldn't be interested in a dialogue with Trump. But tonight, the president's aides tell CNN they believe Kim is posturing and they don't think the summit is in jeopardy. If this is bluster, a key question in Washington tonight is why? What is Kim hoping to extract ahead of a summit? I think Kim Jong-un is trying to send the message that his roadmap for denuclearization is a step-by-step -step synchronous approach where, where, you know, he gives one concession, we give another concession. Analysts say the North Korean threat to pull out of the summit seems like an old school move by the Kim family, something Kim's father, Kim Jong-il, would do. His father's basic negotiating strategy was very tactical. It was moving, was getting short-term concessions uh, from the international community. Experts say despite recent suggestions by Kim that he wants to strike a deal with the West, he may ultimately only be focused on a deal that guarantees that he can save himself and the dynasty into which he was born. Kim has two basic bottom lines and uh, two objectives that overrule every other objective that he has. and it got guides all of his decision-making. One is regime survival, the other is perpetuation of Kim family rule. And whatever outcome of this uh, summit with the United States would have to guarantee that both of those objectives are protected. If those objectives aren't protected, some suggest Kim Jong-un could back out of his scheduled face-to-face -face with Trump, although it could now prove to be more difficult. Kim Jong-un could choose to pull out, but I'm convinced that he wouldn't have made uh, overtures over the last couple of months to, to the United States, to South Korea, to China, just to walk away at the last minute. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my back.